Well, in a sport as vast as standard bread racing is in North America, it's almost unbelievable that two young men could dominate the industry. Alan caught up with them earlier at one of their favorite hangouts, the Winner's Circle. And what has become an annual occurrence, John Campbell and Billy O'Donnell side by side at the top of the money winners list is about to happen again. Here in the Winner's Circle we have John Campbell and Billy O'Donnell side by side. Both of you, when you were starting out at the smaller tracks that you first found success at, well, there were a lot of other young drivers who were very successful at their smaller tracks. Why did the phenomenal success happen for John Campbell and Bill O'Donnell? Well, uh, a lot of luck involved making a move. When I did, uh, I was very fortunate, and I moved to the Meadowlands in 1978, and I didn't have that strong a stable, but I had a lot of 10,000 claimers, and in 1978, 10,000 climbers got in every five days at the Meadowlands, and I got to race them, and they raced pretty well. And when the horses came up from Florida and it got a little tougher, I built up my stable, and I was fortunate enough to, you know, st stick it out the meat, and I went to California and came back with some better horses in 79, and 79 were, took off for me. As for the other drivers, some drivers did go to the Meadowlands, and they just didn't have a strong enough stable, and they've gone back to their other tracks and done extremely well. If they had enough stock, they'd do just that well at the Meadowlands. And some of the drivers chose not to leave there, and uh, they can make a successful living there. Yeah, I think that, you know, about rounds it up for me. You know, I, I made a move in 79. I went to Metal Engine. and only had three or four horses, and, you know, done reasonably well for what I had, and, but I, they ended up chasing me out of there because I didn't have enough stock when the summertime came, and I went back to Saratoga and regrouped, came down 1980 with seven or eight horses, but some power. I had a horse called Lionel Minbar, Bo Scott's fella, and, I got going through the Meadowlands there in 1980 and come back in 81, and uh, then it really started clicking for me after that. Both of you then started your careers in the big time with small stables of your own, yet now you've chosen to devote your time almost exclusively to driving. Why is that? Well, if you came, if I came down in 1978 looking to catch drive, they'd uh, look at you like you were crazy. You had to have some horses to get out and uh, show them what you could do and at least be out there every night. One of the toughest things is just getting a drive every night where you can get put down on other horses. People see you're not down to drive, they won't put you down. So, And catch driving wasn't that fashionable then. Like, they'd have thought you were crazy if you come to the Meadowlands then expecting to catch drive. Yeah, a lot of guys, you know, in the beginning, they, you know, come in there with small stables and try to drive, and it, it really didn't catch on, but, and it didn't for us either. I mean, you know, one time I had 45 or 50 horses, you know, and tried to keep a stable going to catch drive and also, and it came to a point where I could make a choice, and, you know, my choice was just to catch drive, and thank God I did. Why is Billy O'Donnell a great driver? What makes you think he's so good? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. He's, he can get along with almost any type of horse. He's exceptional at putting you at a disadvantage when you have the horse to beat him and night in night out you know at the metal ends he's just uh, the top guy to beat there there's just no question about it. it's been like that for four or five years and i don't see any change coming all right billy revenge time why is john campbell a great driver well same answer but you know it's the same thing i mean he he gets along exceptionally well with with a horse that that needs a little quiet and down and keeps a horse quiet and uh, you know, a horse that just doesn't go a whole mile. John can always get that, you know, that extra eighth or sixteenth of a mile under when he when you really need it, and that that makes him a great driver. Billy O'Donnell and John Campbell side by side here in the winner's circle. If you want to see them side by side in the very near future, go up to the Hall of Fame in Goshen. Two fine athletes of the 1980s.